Though many Mormons know that Oliver Cowdery helped in the translation process of the Book of Mormon, they may not know exactly how important he was in many additional ways in bringing the Book of Mormon to the world. In September 1828, Oliver arrived on the Smith Farm in Palmyra, New York, staying with the Joseph Smith Sr. family as he worked as a school teacher in the community. Naturally, living so close with the Smith family, Oliver heard a lot from family members and neighbors about Joseph Smith's visions and rumors about a gold Bible. Convinced the stories were true and receiving a spiritual manifestation calling him to this work, Oliver traveled over 130 miles on foot through spring rain and mud to meet Joseph for the first time in Harmony, Pennsylvania. There, Oliver became Joseph's most efficient scribe, speeding up the work of translation immensely. As the translation process neared completion, Oliver was chosen, along with David Whitmer and Martin Harris, to be the three witnesses of the gold plates from which the Book of Mormon was translated. He later helped create a handwritten second copy of the Book of Mormon known as the Printer's Manuscript, which survives today and oversaw the publication process of this new Book of Scripture. After the translation and publication of the Book of Mormon, Oliver's work continued as he served as a missionary among the Native American populations in Missouri and later as assistant president of the newly organized church. Except for Joseph Smith, few others were as crucial to the coming forth of the Book of Mormon and the restoration of the gospel of Jesus Christ as Oliver Cowdery, and so he has been rightly called the co-founder of Mormonism. And now you know why. <laughs>